Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Creative IT Resources, and this is the first in a multi-part series where we are renaming SharePoint databases. The first database we're going to begin with is the SharePoint Admin Content Database. This database is used for the central administration content. I do have the central administration open, and uh, just kind of to show that it's currently functioning with uh, the database that we have here in the background. Let's start with opening the SharePoint management shell. Let's right click it and run as administrator. Now I have a list of commands here already uh, typed up in, in uh, WordPad so that way I can copy and paste them in there and we can also walk through them a little bit. The first command we're going to run is the new SP content database commandlet and the parameters are going to be the uh, new database name or the database name in this case, I'm going to only name it SharePoint Admin Content. And this is going to be with respect to the uh, central administration site that we specify. Uh, under this scenario, it's uh, my server is test 01, 8181 is the port number. So let's go ahead and copy that. And run that command. This is going to take just a brief moment. Now that's complete. Let's go back to Management Studio, refresh our databases, and prove to ourselves that that database does now exist. Here we go, SharePoint Admin Content. Let's bring up our Word document. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to generate a list of our uh, current central administration content databases. So with this, we're going to execute the uh, get SP Web application commandlet. Uh, piped with uh, get SPS content database piped with a select statement and then we're going to format it. One thing we need to change here is our central administration site. Let's copy and paste this into our PowerShell. Okay, the results of these commands is essentially our two databases for the uh, admin content. The first one you can see by the uh, name is SharePoint Admin Content with the GUID after it, which we want to get rid of. And then the bottom one does not have a GUID, so we can see that the top is the old, the bottom one's the new. Now our next command is we want to copy the uh, content uh, from the old database to the new database. This is kind of the tricky part. and we're going to uh, basically hand type these GUIDs in there uh, before we copy and paste it over. So we want the old database GUID. And now let's copy in the new GUID. That looks correct. Now let's copy and paste this into PowerShell. Execute that command. We'll say yes, capital Y. And we will say yes yet again. Now we need to restart the IIS. Let's open a command prompt, run as administrator, say yes, and run the command IIS reset. We can exit from that. Let's go into our central administration. Let's just do a quick page refresh, make sure everything reloads. Perfect. Uh, reloaded. Doesn't look like any issues. Let's go in and uh, I do have a site. Let's uh, view all site collections. Make sure that it's still there. Yes, we have my sites and this site called PubSite. Excellent. Now the last step, last step that we want to perform is we want to uh, delete the old database. We have the GUID right here. Let's copy that. Paste this into our PowerShell yet again. 
Yes, we want to remove it. And our next command is we want to verify our list of content databases. The only thing we have to change here is we want to modify this as our test 018181 central administration site. We only have the one database. It does have the new GUID for the uh, ID. You can recognize it here, 26B, 26B, ends in C04, C04. So it looks good. Last thing we can do is we can refresh our database. We want to make sure that this particular one with the GUID, it no longer exists. And sure enough, we have our SharePoint admin content database. And again, everything looks fine and dandy. So that's renaming the SharePoint Admin Content Database. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. We'll start walking through renaming uh, the service applications. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you like what you've seen. Thanks a bunch, everyone. Bye.